Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Sabaru Pali, a general surgery resident, and today we have with us Dr. Anjali Galan, ma'am, here to talk about option guiding as a career option and its future perspective. Dr. Anjali, ma'am, has done her MBBS and MS option guiding from VMMC, Subdarjan, New Delhi. She is MBBS, MS, DND, FND, Reproductive Medicine. MRCOG. She is currently the center head and IVF specialist of Indira IVF Prayagraj. Indira IVF is known not only to us in India but all across the world. She is also a teaching faculty in Indira IVF and a part of research committee at Indira IVF. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yes. So. We will talk about Obzin Gaini as a career option for all the aspirants who wish to take Obzin Gaini and have questions about it. So, ma'am, let's start with what made you choose Obzin Gaini as a career option. Uh, when I was doing my internship, actually, I wanted to take anesthesia, but uh, then uh, uh, many of my uh, like the seniors, uh, when I did my labor room posting. Uh, during my internship, then I liked, uh, started liking the subject because we were actually dealing with two lives. So, uh, 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 during my labor room posting, actually, I developed interest in this field. And so, uh, maybe that's the reason I chose this field over uh, my previous choices. And I took up this field uh, in my PG uh, counseling. Okay, that is really nice and you have achieved a lot in it. So I think that was a very right decision to take. Yeah, and actually uh, after I took this uh, branch, uh, I never looked back. You know, people used to cribble a lot about this field. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my PG, my as residency and then my fellowship days. And then when I started working in Indra, we are still uh, like every day we are facing challenging cases and... Uh, uh, like we are into research also so uh, I love my field I love my job I uh, love uh, being you know innovative you know I love to do new new things and I just want to excel in my and I still feel that there's a lot more to learn like uh, it's not a static field at all, at all. especially the infertility the IVF this is like a sub-speciality of uh, Obzan Gaini and this field has so much to offer and there is so much to, you know, unlock and unveil. So uh, I totally love my job and my profession. And uh, I would I would love to say that I uh, would advise all those like uh, the PG, uh, the postgraduate uh, aspir aspirants to take up this field and explore this field. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, let's go a little bit to your PG days of how they were. How was Obzin Gaini? Is it very, very hectic, like they say? Or is it doable if you like the branch with all the labor coming in the middle of the night and all the emergency cases and everything? Uh, I think uh, like the the PG, uh, the PG of all the specialties. In fact, you, you are a surgery res res yes, resident and, and you must be having very hectic schedules. So it's like uh, we are, when we are doing our PGs, generally we are very young and we are full of energy. So it really doesn't matter. Like we can do the labor room whole, like we are, we are able to wake up, uh, like we we are awake whole night and we are like, you know, catching babies here and there. So definitely obstetrics and gynae in a busy uh, tertiary uh, uh, hospital like Savdajang, it was very hectic. And at our times, we were like limited number of postgraduates. So we had to do uh, like 15 night shifts in a month. But we loved it we, because we had that energy and we loved doing our job. So I never felt that, you know, I'm overworked, you're overburdened. And I thoroughly loved it. It's, it depends upon your colleagues, like how, what are your rapport with them? And uh, what is your rapport with your seniors and if you are hardworking and if you don't say no to any any like anything so generally the things are the things were good only i never regretted good. that you know it, it's so so hectic and uh, i should have i should have taken this field but yeah i loved it i loved all yes, the night I think everything sense. every call will yeah yeah, that's what I think makes something. sense. Even I say this, that when we are interested in something, 
it's not only obstetrics gynae but any field in medicine or anything outside as well if we want to achieve something great then we have to put in the hard work that is required yes. so it is not limited exactly. to a particular branch but everywhere actually else. there is no there is no shortcut to hard work even today like i'm i'm the center in charge but i have to see every minute things about my center and you know uh, i have to work every day from 9 to 5 and uh, okay i don't know do night calls i'm not doing any emergencies but still uh, i have to work and i have to even my seniors like those who are my reporting managers they are also working day and night because if you are hard working then only you will be able to achieve what you want in your life so hard work there is no shortcut to it you have to no do the shortcut. hard work if you want to achieve because no one no one is born with a you know silver spoon matlab many of us might be but majority are not so we have to choose the hard way we have to do the hard work to reach success absolutely ma'am so ma'am after ms obsin gaini what made you go into ivf ivf actually i when i uh, Uh, i just wanted to do something uh, else uh, apart from routine you know labor room and delivery and stuff so uh, i just prepared for my fnb entrance exam i cleared it and i got the seat and uh, um, i got into the prestigious institute uh, by dr kamini rao milan fertility center in bangalore so uh, but actually when i joined that place i was not very happy because in delhi the culture was different and in bangalore it was totally different you know so but still uh, every every stage had its own learning curve so yeah i never regret that you know i uh, i took this branch and uh, initially though i thought that okay this will be a lighter branch and i don't have to do labor rooms and all but they used to make us do labor rooms uh, labor room duties were also like uh, they were uh, they wanted us to do that also so actually i thought it will be an escape to go into this infertility branch but actually it wasn't because uh, we were made to do labor rooms uh, labor room calls also in our fellowship days but still i thoroughly loved it because that was just for a brief period of time and as of now after that now that you are a consultant it is only ivf and no labor and things like right yes business yeah so this also must be giving you a good work life balance i saw that you have beautiful kids and yes So yeah managing yes. work with the home and everything yeah. is a little easier mm-hmm. with ivf yes with ivf it's a little easier uh, you uh, like are able to achieve um, like you're able to manage both work as well as family in a better way you don't have to you know run around in the middle of the night at 2 am to attend any emergencies and delivery so that's way it's better better yes Ma'am, uh, coming to options post option gynae, uh, can you just in brief tell us about what all are the op- options after MS option gynae that we can take up yeah. either fellowship or I think now MCH is come up as well. MCH, yes. MCH Reproductive Medicine has also come up now. And yes, and apart from IVF, there are many sub specialities of option gynae. For example. Uh, people are not go- now, now going into fetal medicine which is a branch in itself and there are very few fetal medicine consultants in india it's a very upcoming branch and uh, it uh, offers a lot so this is one branch which they can opt for after uh, their option gynae then they can go for a laparoscopy like they can become a dedicated laparoscopic surgeon and uh, although it ha- it has a long learning curve but still it's like very good you can dedicate yourself to a laparoscopic uh, Um, you can be a laparoscopic surgeon, dedicated laparoscopic surgeon. Then obstetrics option gynae is there. It is like the bread and butter of all the obstetricians. Then there is a. They can also go for uro gynae, like uro gynecology, uh, with all the stress incontinence, all the fistulas, and all the uh, like uh, incontinent surgeries, uh, prolapse surgery. So that is again a dedicated branch in itself. Many of the doctors are now now going for a uh, uro gynae uh, sub specialty. then they can also go for a cosmetic gynecology it is again an upcoming branch a sub specialty uh, it's about vaginal rejuvenation surgeries and you know uh, it's like a, um, it's upcoming like just started in the last 2 3 years and people are all going for that also cosmetic gynecology then they can also go for gynae oncology in which they can just dedicate themselves to the cancer treatment 
so these are the sub specialities uh, uh, which they can opt for like they can just dedicate themselves to one of these branches if they don't want to do a routine obstetrics and gynae but um, and many of the doctors are like you know they are um, they do everything starting from obstetrics and gynae surgeries and laparoscopy and uh, then it becomes like little hectic for us for them little but uh, yeah a little hectic But I think with what you said, to... yeah. So I think with what you said, it is very clear that if anybody is interested in obstetrics, gynae, there are so many options ahead that later on yeah. we can choose our yeah. niche of what we want to do. So there are a exactly. lot of options like surgical options as well as medicine options. So that can be decided yeah. later on. So gynae gives that like one thing that really intrigued me was fetal medicine and fetal surgery, which is very rare in India. And that is when I understood exactly. if you are interested, then you can take up obstetrics and gynae and later on choose your specialty. So I, I I ended up taking up general surgery because I was more towards the surgical side. But surgical otherwise, side. having said that, obstetrics and gynae is a very beautiful branch which gives you deal with two people at a time: the mother and the baby, and the feeling and warmth of it, which is I think very nice. Yeah, and then you can also go into research. Like uh, there are many, uh, but research is like it goes hand in hand. It is not a sub specialty, but yes, you can be a part of it. If you are working in a big institute, then you can also like be a part of their research team. That also like you know uh, gives you a good, uh, uh, I would say, <laughs> good feeling that yeah, yeah you are in good research. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one very important question that a lot of people have and is not very clear out there is mrc og and when should it be given and what is the preparation material for it yes so mrc og uh, basically uh, uh, if you are you have done mrc og then you can go for a residency in uk you don't need to clear lab uh, they will directly take you as a resident and uk is also a, uh, like it's a good place to work with good ethics and good work culture you can like you can uh, switch your uh, like uh, city and uk uh, offers a lot because they are obviously way ahead of us in uh, many of the branches and uh, mrcog you can start giving from your pg days itself like you can give part 1 uh, in your maybe in your first year of pg if you are dedicated and you want to have another degree and part 2 again you can give after you have cleared your pg uh, but again uh, this mrcog is i would say that it was one of the toughest exams that i cleared because actually i gave it after i had my daughters so it was very difficult to find the time to read but then there are various uh, study groups which you can join and they will give you study material and they will you know take your classes and these classes generally they take it the night time when you are relatively free so you can like uh, join these classes and their uh, curriculum is actually totally different from our routine obgyn curriculum uh, their guidelines are totally different we have to mug up the guidelines we have to mug up their you know percentages and everything so mrcog was the difficult exam which i cleared and then there is another european board exam epcoc ebcog this is again they need a, a training of 4 years so after you have cleared your md and you have done one year of residency you can go for epcoc ebcog exam you can also give mrcpi there are many exams like if you want so many degrees behind your name then you can just keep on collecting these degrees by giving exams and uh, then uh, if you are interested in infertility and you have like if you have cleared mr surgery then you can also go for, go for an extra fellowship that is efrm so that's another like t in your uh, in your degrees so there's no end to it yeah there's no yeah, end to it it's a never ending list of never ending yeah okay, never ending uh, but ma'am if somebody doesn't wish to go to uk mrc ot will still add to the degrees and yes, the whole exactly. that we have here right Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will get better job opportunities. You have these additional degrees. You know, you'll get a, you'll get a better placement. Okay, ma'am. And then lastly, any message for people who want to take up obstetrics or are doing uh, obstetrics or gynecology specialty? Yeah, I would say that it's a beautiful branch, but yes, it needs hard work and dedication, and it needs you to be. Twenty four seven on your toes, especially during your residency days, uh, and uh, uh, it has a lot to offer. 
so after doing your pg you can ex just explore this field the sub specialties and if you're interested then you can choose one of them and uh, but yes like in every field hard work there is no shortcut to it so you really have to work hard and um, i love my branch uh, uh, matlab whenever people will say that you know uh, you have uh, you have become successful in a very short span of time uh, i always tell them that uh, i did not had adani or ambani sir name you know behind my oh. name i have really worked hard for it and uh, people say that you are lucky but i won't say that i am lucky i have really worked hard to achieve whatever uh, i am at this position today so that's it yes. there is no shortcut yes. to hard work in fact uh, when i had my second daughter uh, i worked for the entire 9 months i did not take a single leave and uh, she, i had luckily a normal vagina delivery so after delivery i joined my hospital in an, in just 13 days like she was just 13 days old when i joined my hospital because <laughs> because i thought that you know my hospital needs me so i joined it like uh, within 13 days of uh, my delivery because i had a normal delivery and i i luckily you know i got a very good nanny for her so uh okay. apart from husband you need a very good nanny to support you like who can take care of your kids like her kids and uh, that contributes to your success if you don't have good support system in your house then maybe uh, some women like some some gynecologists they are not able to achieve they want to achieve but because of the support system you know they are not able to uh, they do maybe they don't have the support system i'm i was blessed to have you know good nannies with me who are still there uh, to take care of my daughters and that actually i would say that half of the credit goes to them because they take they took care of my daughter so well that i could concentrate on you know my uh, uh, extra exams which i gave so i always tell them that yes. the credit goes to you also mm. apart from her so i think a very big learning that yeah Yeah. A, a very big learning that we have got uh, from what you said is a hard work has no other option. It's only the tip of the yeah. iceberg that is visible to people, but the amount of exactly. nights and the amount of hard work that we put yeah. in is only known to us. Having said that, like you said, a very big support system is required for the field that we have chosen. So if exactly. we have it all, it is doable. Not that it is not. you are one of the examples of how you have achieved success in very young at your age and uh, i think if people work hard and are consistent then it is very much doable yeah true all right ma'am i think it was great having you thank you so much it was an honor to have you and the guidance thank that you. you have for all the aspirants there yeah thank you so so much for having having me here it was lovely meeting you saba like we follow each other on instagram but i think this is the first time we are meeting uh, like face to face virtually but still face to face we are meeting for the first time it yes, was ma great think, talking to you yes ma'am i would love to catch up with you in case ever i come to prayag prayagraj it would be an honor to meet you in yeah, person yeah, yeah, as well it's a holy city it's a holy city there are like it's a there's a sangam in which all the three rivers like they meet up and you can see the line there's a clear demarcation that this is ganga and this is yamuna so mm. that is the only like the only um, beauty about this city is that it's a holy city like i have my oko pg from there she is proper from mm. there so she keeps talking about it and when i told her about you she was very excited and she's waiting for mm. Like she's waiting to see the video. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. It was great having you. Thank Have you. a nice day, ma'am. Yes. Thank bye. You. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.